Hey guys, welcome to Home Reviews. I have an exciting product today I want to review for you guys, and it's a, it's a camera, it's a security camera, but it's powered by solar, and it also uses 4G to uh, connect with. So you don't have to have any sort of electricity, any type of wires, nothing to power this thing and work it, which means you can put it pretty much anywhere you want to, as long as your solar panel here gets enough light uh, to charge the camera. So this is everything inside the box I got, but what I wanna show you here first is, let's look at the box, and you can get a better idea of what all this has to offer. So if we look at this, it says it has a spotlight with caller night vision. It has live monitoring that you can view from the app on your phone, which I do have installed. We'll be looking at that here in a little bit. Two-way audio, so you can hear and speak to anyone who's within the range of your phone. Motion detection, you can receive instant alerts when visitors are triggered uh, by the built-in motion sensors. It is full IP66 weatherproof, so you can put it up outside, which is what I will be doing um, actually on a tree shining down my driveway. And it supports up to 1080p HD video. Now with the video, it's actually set up default for 720, uh, but you can change that and um, change it to 1080 if you want to. Now this is everything that comes in the package. You got all your parts, your accessories. It even comes with its own card. Now it does not support every um, wireless network out there. In fact, I think on here it shows um, it supports AT&T and T-Mobile, but it does come with its own little SIM card. You can see here, you get this card. It has some information on the other side of it that allows you to recharge the data if you want to. But um, right here was this card, and inside of this card was your tiny card you need to pop out, and you insert that inside of your camera. I'll show you here in just a second. And then you can use this instead of going to one of these two places here to get a card to use, but that is optional as well. And then you have all of your other stuff over here you need to connect it up, um, hook up the solar panel. You have a longer extension cable. If you want to put your solar panel maybe a little bit further away from your camera, because if you notice the default way to set it up is just to attach it directly to the camera and then mount it to whatever you're using. But with this cable, you can actually extend this out further. Maybe you have a different place where the sun is shining more and that's what you want to use. And this is a mounting bracket that goes on the back of this that allows you to attach it. And then you have all your other directions and instructions on how to download the app, install it, and get everything set up. So let's move some of the stuff out of the way and I'll show you more about the camera itself. So this thing is actually pretty big. You can see from the size of my hand uh, that the camera is quite big. Now they got a little sticker here. You can take that off. Um, this here is where your uh, solar panel connects. So if you look at the back of it, it has a place there which goes right in the back of that. And then you're gonna connect this cable to your uh, camera. And then these are your antennas. You want them pointing up, obviously. But if we set this up, you can see the top of this. And you can see where it has um, all your cameras. It has the motion sensor. And then also it has your microphone here where you can do two-way audio. And if we turn this a little bit, you're gonna see it has this place here where you can reset it. And for TF, TF is the same thing as like a memory card. And so if you want to store your memory on here instead of in the cloud, you can do that. And if you look, there's two little places there. So the one up here at the top is your SIM card. That is where uh, this little card from here goes in. And that's what allows you to connect wirelessly. And then under that, if it will focus in, you can see TF, that's where you can put a uh, SIM or a memory card if you want to keep storage on here. Otherwise you can sign up for their cloud storage and use that. They have a free trial you can use as well. And down here at the bottom, you also have a cover. And under this cover is a place where you can charge this up. They recommend you charge it for at least 12 hours before you set it up. And then over here is your power button to turn it on and off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outside. I'm going to put it on a tree that looks down my driveway. And then we're going to come back and look at the app on my phone and see what all we can do with this camera and check out the quality of the video. All right, so I got it put up on my tree here. And this is actually a, 
I couldn't have picked a better place for this because this is a place where I can't put any other type of camera. And so since this one doesn't need an electrical wire, an ethernet cable or anything like that, uh, this is just, it's, it's just perfect for I need it. And so I got it mounted up there and I have it going down my driveway. So now I can see any cars that are coming straight up my driveway before you can see the big turn here and it goes up the hill. So I'll get a notification whenever people come up my driveway and that's exactly what I wanted. So what I'm gonna do now is go back inside and we're gonna look at the quality of this camera and we'll see some of the other features of it. All right, so here we are. I'm back inside on my phone looking through the camera and it actually looks really good. And I have the audio one too. I'm not sure if you can hear or not, but there's birds in the background that I can hear from the camera. And so you can see here that up at the top, there's a little button that says SD. And if I click that, it's going to change it over to SD. Below that, it shows the time and the date of the camera. And then if you just move your finger up and down on the left side of the camera or on the screen, you can see here where it, it adjusts the brightness of your screen. But clear at the bottom, you'll see where you have your remote control. You even have the feature to zoom in and out. And it happens like as soon as you tap it, it'll click. And then you have your speed button, which you can change how fast you want it to move, uh, low, medium, or high. I have mine set on high. But if I scroll to the left, this here is my cloud storage. And this is where I just got it set up. And you can see the um, clips that I took while I was just testing it. And everything on my cloud storage is going to be shown on here. Of course, I can go online too. If you would go through your instructions, you'll find out exactly how you can use that white SIM card they give you to recharge it and add more time to it. It's a, roughly around $13, $15 a month, I think, which is actually pretty good because uh, I found out that Verizon, you, Verizon does not support this, so you can't use it, but they was going to charge $20 a month for unlimited. And so, you know, it had been a little bit cheaper just to go this route anyway. But overall, I am very happy with this. And up here at the top, you can also see that it has your 4G signal. It has your battery power. So you'll always know how charged your camera is. Um, you know, you want to make sure the sun's hitting that solar panel at least some throughout the day to keep it charged up for you. And so on the device settings, you have all different kind of options here to rename it. For the memory card, you can see where it says cloud video. If you have a memory card, you can use that instead, but then you got to keep going out and getting your memory card, bringing it back in and checking it. So cloud video is definitely more convenient. You can have where you can flip the image, the scene mode from normal to night, your detection sensitivity. If it picks up too much motion, constantly sending you alerts, you can change that. It also has some other settings there for a sleep delay, device alarm, LED indicator. And down at the bottom, you even see where it has an arming setting. And so you can set a schedule for when you want this to run. But overall, I am quite impressed with this camera, the quality of it, and how well it works running off of just solar and 4G. So with this camera, if you guys are interested in this, I will put the link below the video if you want to go check it out on Amazon where you can pick it up yourselves. But this is the Soliom. It's a wireless solary battery powered. It's a pan tilt security camera. So you have all those options to pretty much turn the thing all the way around up and down and see anywhere you need to see.